This PowerPoint is a warning for the Jews living in Israel. The ninth above. The New Jerusalem is a New Testament prophecy found in the book of the Revelation. London is the new Babylon. Yahweh has uploaded numerous videos all about it previously. You'll have to do a search to find them thanks to YouTube removing thousands of them. The Wailing Wall is the foundation not of Solomon's temple which was destroyed by Nebuchadnezzar in 586 BC but the rebuilt temple of Yahweh by the Persians in 444 BC led by Yahweh's ancestor Zerubbabel. The reality is the devout righteous Jew who believes they are the chosen and are but who chose them. Yahweh did not, you'd have to ask them. So either you agree with the Jews that Yahweh is not the Messiah, well certainly not theirs, or that he is him. This is what the Zionists intend to do. Number one, burn every Jew and Christian tourist alive when the ninth of Av, which is the anniversary of the destruction of the Yahweh Temple in 70 AD and Solomon's Temple in 586 BC. It is the same date as the start of the London Games that has its logo as Zion and is the 27th of July 2012. The Queen, the grandmother of a vicious King William, Prince William, who is Vlad the Impaler, the reincarnate. That is Christ 5550. William was 5550 days old on the date of the sacrifice of his mother Diana to the goddess Diana. That number 555 is Christ found 555 occasions in the Freemason Bible, the KJV 1611 version. To keep it simple, this is what it is all about. Hedge about the scapegoat, which happens to be the Khazar Mongol gene Jews who are not Israelite at all. The Zionist are in control of their God Lucifer. That sounds very much like yours. Talking to Christians out there, all the Jews living in Israel, the uh, Messianic Jews, your God is Lucifer because it's certainly not Yahweh. Nor would your God warn you of danger. Getting back to William, Prince William, links to Yahweh's ancestor, William the Conqueror, and William the Lion, William Marshall, all through his mother Diana. Prince William is the 1,000th point of light intended to emerge as Christ. He is in fact Vlad the Impaler, who died in 1476 late December or 1477 January. The measurement back to his death date means to hedge about with thorns. William was reborn 505 years after the death of his ancestor. 505, this number in Hebrew means 1000. And of course, you all know that he is the 1000th point of light in the order of the garter, which is the snake. All to do with Freemasonry, and that brings us to Donny Gilson. In passing for a moment, Yahweh used a so-called willing believer in private, but a 32 degree death oath Freemason. That is Donny Gilson. He was offered a free ticket and accommodation and world exclusive rights as a budding truth reporter, albeit a Freemason.
Exclusive rights to what? The May 20th annual eclipse, which is the marriage of the Lamb. Yahweh is responsible for curing his avenging angel disease in the form of a willing virgin, a Catholic lady, Vicky. Donnie refused the free trip and accommodation to Australia, declaring that Yahweh had revealed his private conversation and never wanted to talk to him again. Say hello to Vicky. Reading the Freemason Bible and as pretend Jews, you have been bullshitted that you are the chosen race, when genetically you are far from it. Therefore, this is the reason the Zionist of Dan, the serpent in Genesis 49.10, etc. Dan is the serpent in the way, bites the horse's heels, causing Jesus to fall. Jews, however, are forbidden to read the New Testament. They worship at the Wailing Wall of Yahweh, Joshua, the same that Rabbi Koduri saw every day in his last year of his life. His last prophecy is not to be opened until Ariel Sharon passes. The walls hedged about all Jews are not to keep the Palestinian homeless out, but to keep the Khazar Mongols enclosed within countless checkpoints. In order to rebuild the temple, and remove the rock of the dome, an air bomb they attempted, we're talking about the Zionist, attempted with deep horizon rig in 2010, and then more recently the Elgin gas rig in the North Sea, after the seven metre storm surge tidal wall was built along the sea coastline of Holland. The idea was that gas swept by harp weather would fill the 9,000 square kilometre bomb just waiting to happen, which is one metre deep below sea level. Hydrogen sulphide gas kills at only 700 parts per million. The world was not blown up as predicted, and so the beast controlling the Jews in their paddock in Israel are unlearned on the Lucifer Bible that presents their Jesus mask on the body of Lucifer. You need to read Isaiah 14.12, which you do not read. So putting all of the cards on the table, what do we have? <clears throat> the 12 tribes of Revelation is Europe, but Dan is not one of them. Obviously, it is destroyed. You are forbidden to know the enemy, which is a huge and stupid mistake. Quoting from Amos, They that swear by the sin of Samaria, thy God, O Dan, liveth, and the manner of Beersheba liveth. Even they shall fall and never rise up again. Beersheba liveth, even they shall fall and never rise up again equals Freemasonry Zionism headed up in Denmark. Same name as Bathsheba, the mother of Freemasonry and Solomon. The numbers for the 9th of Av has London set up to be the last standing when all Jews in Israel are offered to Lucifer by fire, the Zionist Holocaust. As Vlad the Impaler is Prince William's former life. His tomb is at Snagov Monastery on an islet in Snagov Lake. The latitude is 44, 42, 32 north by 26, 10, 17. In Hebrew, 26, 10 is profane, greatly, and Greek is to overcome and subdue. Hebrew, 4442 4, is Melchizedek, king of right. And Greek is pur or fire, or specifically lightning, fiery fire. 26 is God. 42.32 is seat of judgment. And Hebrew, smitten of God. And so on. We have then the Dan tribe, not part of the 12 tribe, 
tribes of Israel and has said in Amos never to rise again. Via code predicting Dan is finished and so therefore no more Solomon's Freemasonry. The date has to be the 9th of Av. And this date is the 27th of July 2012. The following is the area of the tomb of Vlad. They that swear by the sin of Samaria and say, Thy God, O Dan, liveth, and the manner of Beersheba liveth. Even they shall fall and never rise up again. And there you will see the word highlighted has a number 1339 and is Bathsheba one and the same, the mother of Solomon. Now Yahweh's problem, of course, is convincing you that the God of the Old Testament and the Torah only is Lucifer, who chose you to be the ultimate sacrifice, having your ancestors kicked out of 80 countries because of the Talmud by Zionist-dominated New Testament writers and murderers targeting the Khazar for death, which prophecy dictates Yahweh will cause everybody to be outside of the walls on the ninth of Av, or does he have to do it for you again? The part of Lucifer's demonic work you do not read, Rabbi Koduri did and saw the light hammered home by downloading all of Yahweh's Michelle Nye videos. And each day until he died, he raved on to his son, who verifies he was referring to Yahweh on YouTube. Go ask him. Now, if Yahweh had been choosing the chosen, he certainly would not have chosen a bunch of fuckwits, now would he? It's not that hard. So will the world weep? They can rebuild Solomon's temple any way they please, as the air bomb will have cleared every building to the nearest wall. A German 500 kiloton hydrogen bomb has been reported missing this last week like hiding the whereabouts of the Eiffel Tower. Why? Because it was inside a German submarine. Now call Yahweh old-fashioned. A bomb is not missing. The sub is. A nuke for Jerusalem off a German sub. With what? An Iranian passport floating down with it, wedged by the force of the explosion, like a shadow of a Japanese child's shadow on the wall burned into a holy Quran. Hell fucking low. They, the Zionists, did it to Japan and Dresden. And 9-11 and Fukushima. Now perhaps if Yahweh was squeezed into a size 3 white vinyl scuba suit, dangled down from a dirigible built like E.T. and said he was Lucifer, the White House, led by Lieberman, would welcome him with open arms. Oh, keep the versions for yourself. Set off the bomb. Make sure you blame Iran. Keep his name out of it, though. Blame that do-gooder, you know, that martial character. Questions? Hard to hear? Ah, yes. Three months. Three years and one month. Abortions? Yes, up to full term, any age. For the mother. 